welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Mill. Mill is a kind of control deck that wins by milling out the opponent. It primarily does this with Hedron and Ruin Crabs, Fractured Sanity, Archive Trap, and Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Despite being light on creatures, the crabs are very important to your game plan, synergizing with Fetchlands and Field of Ruin to aggressively mill the opponent. Archive Trap can mill a large number of cards for free, but there's no guarantee your opponent will search their deck. Field of Ruin ensures that you always have a way to turn on Archive Trap's condition. Fractured Sanity and Tasha's Hideous Laughter are the three mana mill cards, with Sanity being able to cycle and mill. Tasha's can exile an extraordinary amount of cards depending on the matchup, being especially useful against cheap or land-heavy decks like Hammer Time or Amulet Titan. It also gets around any graveyard synergies your opponent might have. Drown in the Lock and Visions of Beyond both care about graveyard sizes, with Drown being a removal or counter spell and Visions refueling your hand. Fatal Push is another removal spell, and Crypt Incursion exiles problem graveyard creatures while providing a large life boost to buffer against combat damage or burn. While it doesn't have to be built with black as the second color, and there have been some experiments trying white, black has proven to be useful since it offers valuable cards like Drown in the Lock and Crypt Incursion. Sideboarding and Weaknesses The crabs are very important for milling enough cards and, despite playing no other creatures, removal needs to be left in against mill specifically to fight them. In fact, the key to winning the mill matchup often comes down to how quickly crabs are deployed or removed. The most problematic cards Mill has to work against are anything that shuffles graveyards back into the library, commonly Endurance and Eldrazi Titan triggers. The only ways to fight them are to exile the graveyard with their triggers on the stack with Surgical Extraction, Soul Guide Lantern, or Crypt Incursion, or to preemptively exile them with Tasha's. Depending on which you use, you may not hit all the cards. It can be correct to bring in cards like Rest in Peace or Relic of Regenitus against Mill specifically to turn off Drown, Visions, and Surgical since those cards are so important. After sideboarding, Mill primarily transitions into fighting whatever problem cards it needs to by identifying the key pieces of the opposing deck. However, many decks like Jund or Blue Eye Control are simply value decks and don't have any particular cards to target. Ensnaring Bridge can be a good sideboard plan against creature-heavy decks since it draws the game out, giving you more time to mill the opponent and they're unlikely to bring an artifact hate against your deck. Mill can sometimes beat combo or synergistic decks by randomly milling key pieces, although this isn't reliable. For example, if you happen to mill over Amulet Titan's Valakuts, they'll have a much harder time winning. Conversely, graveyard-centric decks are a nightmare for mill to fight since its game plan fuels theirs. It should also be noted that Yorion decks are harder to beat. Tips and Tricks Unless you're soon to win from it, it's usually better to cycle Fractured Sanity rather than cast it. Keep in mind that opponents can respond to your surgical extractions with their own, with Relic of Regenitus, or with anything else that moves cards in their graveyard to stop you from extracting all the copies, but they can't respond to Extirpate. When playing against Mill, it's important to keep Drown in the Lock in mind and play accordingly. For example, you may want to delay using Fetch Land so as not to feed it. Oboro ensures that you always have a land to play for the crabs and can always enable Revolt for Fatal Push. If your opponent attempts to win from an empty library with Thassa's Oracle, you can activate Mika Koro to kill them before it resolves. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Mill. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.